I've been experimenting with next best action. I think it's this is a, a very basic video, but it gives you a sense of how it works. Uh, what we're seeing here is this is uh, opportunity for updating uh, opportunity close date. You can see the close date. This is uh, today is November 1st, so this is an old close date. And this is, uh, you could think of it as a, is really an, an, an auto launch screen flow, which is kind of an interesting twist. And, and I think it's again worth, worth understanding. So, uh, I've got a couple of options that we're going to play with here in terms of update or accept the, the recommendation or don't. Uh, if we, if we look at a record that doesn't have, um, so the current, it's current to today, it's going to say there's no recommendations right now because you're current. Now, what I can do is to go out to my update my page. And if I look at my page, uh, here's the lightning component, which I've pulled in from here. And what it has is the opportunity to check a box here, which is to hide the component. If I do that, uh, what it does is it disappears the, the lightning component there, because this is where we started out here. Uh, and so how, how do we build this? So we're going to go out and we're, here are the steps that we're going to follow. Uh, first, we have to do build a flow, uh, and then we're going to create a recommendation record, a standard object. Then we're going to build a strategy builder, which is a, similar to flow. And then we've just been showing how to add that to the layout. So that's a last step once we're all put together. Um, so the first step then is the flow. And a flow is just, uh, you know, a, a very simple. What I'm doing is going out and getting an opportunity record. I'm saying, do you want to make changes to that opportunity record? Uh, if you suggest a change. And so that's, that's just my basic screen here. Um, if you want to make a change, uh, then it goes about assigning the change, updating and saying thank you. Otherwise, uh, if there's no change to, you know, detect it, then it defaults out. Uh, so that's our flow. So then we need to go out and do a recommendation. Uh, and so if we look at the recommendation, this is a standard object. Uh, and so really anyone has access to it, but if I type recommendation, uh, what I can do is to click into it here. Uh, but if I don't have it, what I need to do is to go out to profiles and look again, look up on recommendations here and change this to default off. If it's marked hidden, then, then you're not going to be able to see, uh, that standard object. Uh, but once you can see it and you can go in on it, uh, you can either build a new one or I've got one built, a, a recommendation. And so when I pop it open, this is what I've got. And these are all required fields, but this is that acceptance label, you know, uh, the uh, update the close date or don't. Uh, and this is the action. And so kind of the trigger for this then is going to be uh, and uh, so once we, well, the one thing I want to see, the uh, right up here, you have to grab the record ID. So you grab the record ID from here. Uh, and then what you want to do is you've, you've built the recommendation record, the flow, then you're going to go to strategy builder. And so what we're going to do is to go out here. Uh, and let me see if I can get to it quickly and easily. Uh, now we're going to go out and we're going to go to, uh, you can type strategy or you can, it's an alias for next best action. Uh, you can, again, you can create a new strategy. I'm opening this one. And what I'm seeing is I've got, uh, several different, um, these are again, objects I can drag over. Uh, what the low is doing is saying when the conditions are met and the conditions here are the ID of the, uh, the recommendation is equal to that recommendation that I was just showing you, right? So that we're just pulling in specifically that recommendation, uh, which is unique to whatever the uh, object is it's looking at at that point. And so uh, and then what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna cancel this and we're gonna go out and uh, and when you, when you build that, well, I mean, let's just do the filter. So the filter says here, uh, if the um, close date is less than today, uh, and then this is for the advanced is how I actually had to build it, and then it came back uh, that way, uh, and the standard filled in, so that was fine. Um, but that basically gets me what I need. Um, and then saving that and going back out to show you how it looks when we run it. Let me close this because we did get to that. 
Um, what I've got is a close date here, so it's saying, would you like to update it? I'm going to say yes. Uh, it's going to accept it and create an acceptance record, but then uh, what I can do is to say, give me today as my close date, and I'm going to say, great. I'm going to say, and then it's, there's this, uh, that success record as part of the flow comes up. And then if I do a refresh, what I get is uh, no element because I remember I hit it. And so it shows that there is no element here now. Uh, so just a very, again, very basic uh, auto launch screen flow, a very soft validation rule. And, uh, you know, I look forward to, you know, share your comments on this video, kind of how you're going to use this, because I'm very interested to see how other people end up using this next best action work. And there's plenty of predictive work that you can go beyond this. Thanks for watching.